Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and tonight we're going to be talking about how to get to your left side properly or transition. So one of the biggest things that I hear when a student's in front of me and they miss hit a shot is I didn't finish the swing or I didn't get to my left side or front side. So let's take a little bit bigger look into you know what does that mean? You know what why are they even saying that? Well we know that you know all the pictures we see getting to your left side but if I just if I just get to my left side that doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna have a good shot so we have to make sure that we're doing it properly and we have to make sure that the sequencing is right so most of what I see is people swing all the way up to the to the transition area we like to call it you'll figure out why we don't like top of swing so much here in a little bit but all the way up to the transition area and then go okay so if I wait to transfer my weight to the left side all the way up to where the top of my swing is or transition area then more than likely I'm gonna come over the top so much like if I throw a ball or a football like a pitcher in baseball as he's getting as he's getting ready to go as his arm moves back he steps forward so his foot transitions much sooner than his arm transitions. That's why we don't like to call it top of swing because you know, that image is everything finishes and then everything goes. Well, if we do that, we're gonna come over the top of it every single time. So when you swing, as you start to swing back, see my transition happens or I get to my left side much earlier than my arm swing. So what, is, what does that do for me? Well, I've certainly got to my left side, but what it does is it allows, as my arm's still going back, and you can, you can watch any tour pro, as my arms are going back, I transition to my left side or I have a bump right here. So what that does is it actually tilts my spine, which makes my shoulders kind of set back, which makes my arms drop so I can hit it from the inside. Now, from down the line, Here's what I want you to notice. As we swing back, see my right hip socket gets out of the way, and as I transition, there's all this room for my arms to swing into. So that brings me kind of to the next point. As you get to your left side, how are you getting there? Again, for most people that have a late transition, they're almost always gonna come over the top. Because if I, again, swing all the way to the transition and then go, the only way I can get to my left side is coming over the top. Now if my right hip socket goes back and I transition early, you can see I'm almost sitting, or as the late Jim Flick would refer to it, he was almost backing into his target. So the hip socket gets out of the way and then you almost back into your left leg. See as your right hip gets out of the way, you have much better leverage to get into your left side. This is how to get into your left side properly. Almost everyone that I see that tries to finish their swing, they get here and they try to get to their left side. So there's a, there's a couple different issues with that. Now from face on, if I, grab a, if I grab a ball, it's very hard to get shallow enough or angle of attack is too steep. So I'm coming almost over the top or too steep. You can see my chest gets too on top of it. So if I'm here and then go to my left side, see I'm so steep, especially with the driver. If I get there with the driver, the ball is gonna go right up in the air. I need to be coming in from a shallow. So when I say shallow, the golf club gets a little bit lower to the ground and how we attain that is my, I get to my left side or I transition while my arms are still going back. You can see what that does, it almost sets my shoulder and it sets my right hip into place so I feel like I'm almost sitting back so I can feel my arms come down. So let's hit a couple shots with that motion. So again, how the transition works, I want you to, I want you to make a couple practice swings where you just feel how you sit back into the, so in your transition you're going to sit back into the target, you're going to feel how your spine shallows you out and your arms come down without any effort. So back, so as I sit back into it, I can feel my arms go down. So you can, you can hear how the club shallows out. Now once I get into here, now we can go. But if I go too early, I'm gonna come over the top. So I'd have you hit some shots 
where you feel, again, as soon as your right hip socket goes back, we change directions and you almost feel like you're sitting. You see a lot of, again, a lot of the top players that their head will go down, they appear that they're squatting on the way down. That's their first transition point or it's their first move down. You've heard from the ground up. This is exactly what this is. So as my right hip socket goes back, I feel like I back into the target. Hip socket goes back, I back into the target. The other thing that that allows me to do is then I, when I sit back down, again, I can get the handle of the club right where I want it and the face of the club, again, is right in line with my hands. So there's plenty of room for my arms to swing down. So let's hit one here. So again, as the hip socket goes back, I want you to feel Hip socket goes back, you're going to feel like you sit or squat or back into the target here. So it gives myself plenty of room for my arms to swing. So again, hip socket goes back, I sit back into it. See, now that I'm in my left leg here, see, now I can clear my left hip back and away and let the golf club go. So again, remember, yes, we do want to get into your left side but you want to make sure that you get there properly. Most people are late getting to their left side and they're over the top getting to their left side. So yes, we do want, we want to finish to our left side, but do it the right way so you can get your arms and golf club in front of you and have all that room for the club to swing into. Stay tuned and we're going to take a look at this from face on. Okay, so now we've got our face on look. So again, what I'd have you do is drop the club, let your arms hang nice and soft. So again, right hip socket back, sit into it. Right hip socket back, sit into it. So you can see how my shoulders set. So first my spine angle feels like it's set back a little bit. That's how we know that we're shallow. So my spine angle is gonna set, which tilts my shoulders, which makes my arms come down. Now I can go. Instead of feeling like I go all the way up and then over top of it. So it's, so again, if I had to, if I had to predict where you want to feel the pressure change in your feet, it'd probably be you know, right around, as soon as that hip socket gets back, your arms are gonna feel like, you're, like they're only about hip high. When you get it on video, it's a lot later. So you're gonna feel right there. So you can see how my right hip stays out of the way, my right, right shoulder is almost pinned back, my arms can come, come down from there. Now I can, I can push and go but I've got to get the golf club back in front of me. So we have to make sure that that transition, again, is not too late. One of the other things that I, I see or hear all the time is that people say that they're quick at the top. Well, I don't think you're, you're, you're not quick at the top. You might be, but you're definitely late underneath. You're definitely late in your transition. And that's why your arms feel fast and quick and they're trying to catch the club up with the rest of your body. So, again, try this. Feel like your right hip socket goes back and sit into it. So you can see as my right hip socket goes back and I sit, my arms come down, you can see how much room I want to feel like I, I can, I really have a ton of room on the inside there so it's not such a timed issue. I want to feel like I, I've got plenty of room. I could fit well more than my arms and golf club through, through that. So back, sit hip socket back, again you're sitting back into it, and then your left hip can drive away from the ball and accelerates the club. Let's hit one more. So right hip socket back and then feel how you sit right back into it. So when it really feels like my arms can accelerate, <clears throat> they can go as fast as they want because they've got so much room now. So try this transition, and again, that's why we, we try to get away from top of swing because the transition in your feet is much sooner, not faster. Again, you don't have to be quick with this, you just have to be soon. Your leg transition and feet transition happens much sooner than your arms transition. Try this, and I know you'll have much better contact and success on the golf. Like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf. Want to take a live lesson from me or you have a question? 
visit me at billyfitzgeraldgolf.com. And thanks for watching.